what's poppin', what's Gucci, what's poppin', what's Gucci, what's poppin', what's Gucci Beauty Gang? How y'all doing? As you guys can tell by the title, I'm gonna be taking you guys, is this my first one? I think it might be my first like for real, for real workout video with you guys. I'll sprinkle it here and there in like weekly vlogs, but they gave me a super dope idea. If you watch my more recent late night Vin session, you kinda know what had been going on in my mind, where I was at with things, yada, yada, yada. This is my goal of trying to turn over a new leaf and just take y'all with me. Just turn on the camera and let's do it. I have been in my little, it's not even a fitness journey. Like honestly, if you follow me on Instagram, I have two highlights on there, my body highlight and my fitness highlight that kind of runs down the process that I've been going through over the last about two years of getting to this point. And I don't mean just in a physical sense, I also mean up here mentally. So that's why I stopped myself before I said fitness journey. It's not a journey, it's a lifestyle for me now. But I also so happen to be getting married in the fall this year. If you're not following me on the gram and you're not following our Patreon and stuff, you're missing out, boo, because Anyway, Josh gave me a great idea to be like, well, why don't you take them to the gym with you uh, and show them like workouts and stuff. And although this is workouts I was just doing in general just to get myself, my body right, my confidence back, et cetera, et cetera, it has done some things for your girl in comparison to how I used to look and how I look now. Baby, baby, your girl did that. No trainer involved. So I was like, mm, let me take them along the journey with me. I'm sure it could be helpful for some of you guys. Maybe some of y'all are upcoming brides or maybe some of you guys are just ready to start tapping into a higher self. So I'm excited to take you guys with me. I'm gonna be showing you guys some of my workouts that I do that has gotten me to this point, helped get me to this point. And then if you guys like it, we'll see, we'll see where this can go. And I hope you enjoy. So if you are ready to head to the gym with me, we can go ahead and get this going. In three, two, Alrighty now beauty gang hopping straight into things first thing I make sure I do when I go into the gym is warm up okay now sometimes it varies on how I'm feeling sometimes I'll do stair stepper other times I'll do an incline treadmill situation which you're about to see me do right now I do it for about five to ten minutes when I want a thorough workout day today is pretty thorough y'all so we're doing cardio a hit workout and strength training but for example on other days that I want to be a little bit less intense I might just want to move my body that day I'll do about 15 to 20 minutes inclined and maybe just a little bit of ab work so that's more so a chiller type of vibe for me but it's a way for me to still move my body, you know? And something else I make sure I do while I'm on the tread is stretch. I'm trying to make sure I feel limber, get those muscles loose. Y'all see that back action? Oh, Now to spice things up a little bit, when I wanna go a little bit harder, get that heart rate pumping before the real, real workout begins, side shuffles, y'all. This will get the heart going. And both sides, don't neglect both sides now. I aim to do these anywhere between 15 to 30 seconds per side. By the time I'm done, it's time to get off the tread. And now we really about to put in that work. And just for visual confirmation and transparency, that's the incline that I was on 15, which is the highest and a minimum of three miles per hour speed wise. All right, now it's time to get into that HIIT workout where I do 30 seconds on, 15 seconds rest per movement. Now HIIT workouts, to be honest, is what really helped trim and slim your girl rather quickly too, might I say, because it helps to burn calories, lose weight and build muscle all at the same time. And no equipment is necessary. I freaking love HIIT workouts and I love the challenge that it gives me. I really wanna say majority of my mental fortitude when it came to starting my fitness journey and sticking with it was from HIIT hit workouts because you're constantly challenging and pushing your body past the point of what you mentally think you can do. So once you master the mental warfare of working out and it becomes mind over body, you've won, you've cracked the code. So therefore the next time your heart rate is up or you feel the lactic acid building or you feel like I can't do one more, yes you can. You're in full control and the master of your body. So tell it what to do. Now moving on to the weight training portion, this is something that actually within the last few months I've been incorporating, Bay put me on and this has been snatching my waist you guys I mean snatching it cable twist they specifically target your abs and your oblique muscles which is why I feel like it just <laughs> my waist like it's been insane y'all your girl has never had no hourglass shape or even like the curvature okay that curvature in the waist I could never figure it out on top of that these are really beneficial for the love handles too for the 
longest. I was trying to figure out different movements and workouts that could target the kind of FUPA love handle area. And I could not figure anything out until I started using this machine and seeing the results, baby. I promise you, if you take a before and after picture for about a month of using this machine, at least two to three times a week, your results will have you shook. By the way, I forgot to mention, I was doing 20 pounds per side, but make sure you use a weight that feels both comfortable and challenging for you. Now moving on, another movement that definitely snatches your girl's waist, inclined sit-ups. And I even add a little bit of spice to mine. I add a Russian twist at the top. The reason for this is because the incline already targets the ab muscles. Very intensely, might I add, because you're already working against gravity, but to add on the Russian twist to this mix you're now also strengthening your core obliques and spine not to mention this is one of the more effective workouts when it comes to losing them love handles hashtag thank me later now next movement that i love so much is lat pull downs not only does it help to promote good posture and spine stability because that is important it also helps to build a wider upper torso now i know some women be freaking out about that but hear me out sis when you think about what an hourglass shape really means and looks like it's wide at the top snatched in the middle wide at the bottom so workouts like these actually help build your back strength as well as create that ideal hourglass figure sis stay woke all right so now i'm done showing you guys some waist snatcher and back strengthening movements now we got to get into that booty starting with these russian split squats i kid you guys not i used to hate literally hate these especially when I was an athlete in college like I you couldn't make me do it you just couldn't but to be honest EC back then didn't have that mental fortitude I was talking to you about earlier because these do burn and they make it easy for you to want to give up but if you stick beside them for a while you will see how nice plump voluptuous and well-rounded it makes your booty so I definitely 10 out of 10 highly recommend trying them out and then last but most certainly not least this is another movement that will have the booty sitting right honey back extensions not only is it important to squeeze your glutes at the top okay i know y'all see that squeeze it's also important at least for me i like to hold at least for two seconds and i'll do about 10 to 15 reps this is going to give you that tabletop booty curvature in the back i know y'all can kind of see it now imagine doing it on a consistent basis when i say the booty will poke girl and on top of that you're also strengthening those lower back muscles which help to snatch the waist and your hip and shoulder muscles all at the same dang time now after all is said and done you definitely should have worked up a sweat by now and on top of that you should be proud of yourself sis and keep in mind it doesn't matter how you start it just matters that you started Max. It's just good overall 
there's this uh, thing I posted on my Instagram story a while ago. I was starting to hear it's the benefits of working out on your period. It's not, it's not really something I, I highly suggest if you're someone who typically tries to avoid the gym or just moving your body in general on your period. Try to fight that urge. Try to fight past it because one, it'll benefit you based off of the screenshot I just showed you guys and then two, it'll make you overall feel better. Like you will have more energy. You're also in a way like training your mind to be stronger than your body. So I mean, a lot of the aspects of, to me, working out and that journey, that fitness journey in itself has to do with more mental battle than the physical battle and pain it is to actually work out. So honestly, a lot of people ask like, how did you get to this point? Blah, blah, blah. Hopefully, but surely I'll be letting you guys in on more and showing you guys workouts. But to me, that's just like a minute percentage of what really got me to this point. A lot of it was up there. So you are in control of your body, your temple. At the end of the day, it will do what you tell it to do and it won't do what you won't allow it to do. You are the number one operator of self all up here. You can do anything literally. I know it's so cliche, you hear all kinds of dead ass. You can do anything you put your mind to. Anything. And as I always try to reiterate on my Instagram stories and stuff is that we only have one life to live, y'all. You have one life, one body. You gotta make the most of it. You gotta live your life with purpose and intention and go after what you want. Um, I was there before where I was like, oh, what was me, insecure, sad and shit, looking in the mirror all the time. And then one day I had to snap out of it and be like, you are the controller of your life. You have nobody else to blame but yourself for where you are in life. If you are in, unhappy in your life right now, that is on you. Also, the benefit of that is that you have the power to change your, I don't know as far as saying destiny, but your life. You have the power to change your circumstances. So take hold of that power, you know? But yeah, overall, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This wasn't meant to be this whole motivational speaking type of thing, but I hope that you guys, I, I hope that this did give you guys some type of motivation or encouragement or inspiration to go after it, y'all. And also understand too, when I first started this journey, everything you guys saw me do was at a slower pace, maybe lower reps, lower weight, like you gotta start somewhere. So that's why I don't need to focus too much on the intensity of what you saw me do today. Just start somewhere. And, and, and honestly, like you guys saw the video, I was telling you how many rounds, how many reps and stuff, but you start where you're at. Everybody is in different positions in life, you start different starting points, different body um, types and stuff like that. So start where you're comfortable, but all I'm asking for you to do, at least start to owe yourself back and work from there, work your way up. And it is so fulfilling too, as you start working your way up, seeing like, oh, this weight is a little bit lighter than it was a month ago. Or, oh, I can do a few more reps, I can fill it in me. I can do a few more reps than I could a couple of weeks ago. Like, you will see and notice that your body is changing and getting stronger. So, I'm excited for you guys. I'm excited for those who are gonna start taking it a lot their health a lot more seriously because that's another thing too. One last thing. It was a matter for me of changing my lifestyle. Not me going for a body goal or trying to get this hourglass figure or whatever. Honestly, the way my body looks now is in perk. It's a bonus. But it's not like, uh, like I always reiterate on my Instagram, it is a journey, not a destination. At least for me. I feel like when you want true change, a lifestyle change in your life, you have to mentally put yourself there. And understand it's not a matter of like, oh, once I get to my weight or once I get to that ideal figure that I want, then I'm good. No, it's an ongoing process. And I think it's important to continue doing too as we get older, as we become mothers, as we become wives. It's important to still take the time out to look out for us, invest in ourselves, focus on our health. And I feel like what's a better starting point than this age? And even I know I have a lot of people also following me that are older than me. If you haven't worked out in a while, you have to take some time for yourself to do that because to be honest with you guys, this whole fitness aspect of my life is so beyond just the body goals because I was at a point when I started this, I was in a place where my mental health was not in a good place at all. My mental health, I was looking in the mirror, unhappy and insecure. It was just a lot of like BS going on in my life at that time. And when I started the fitness journey, that was my way, that was my way of taking my life back. That was my way of taking my mental health back. That was my way of bringing myself up out the dark. You feel me? So because of that, I am a happier, stronger, sexier, more confident person. And 
I just want that for all of you guys. Again, I hope this video was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to let me know in the comment section below. Of course, like the video. I feel like that goes without saying. But yeah, like the video. Comment if you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want me to do more of these, I'll see what I can do. Because um, those were just a few. I have multiple different like workouts I consistently find myself going back to throughout the week. But those today were some of my like favorites in terms of like seeing real, real game. So if you guys also try it out, by the way, come back and comment below how the workout went for you. I would love to create like a dialogue and a community. You know, beauty game, we're always a community. I love that I, when I see you guys commenting back and forth with each other and encouraging each other and supporting each other as well as me and vice versa to you guys. So let's get this going, y'all. 2022 is ours. <laughs> All right. But now I need to get some food in my system. So love you guys. Thank you.